Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel, La Vida Son. I am, just want to give you an update. So I've been promising you a video of the ecological project building the artificial reef. However, yesterday when I went to uh, check my messages, the owner blocked me. Like, I'm not sure if it's because of the videos, I'm not sure, but he blocked me. WhatsApp, gone. Messenger, gone. Phoneless, gone. I have no idea what happened. I'm not sure what I did or what problems he's having, but hey, I wish you the best of luck. No hard feelings, just so you know, in case you're watching. Anyway, you know, life goes on. So, instead of working with them, I've got other projects that I'm doing. Like I told you, oh, I didn't tell you, I have been asked to promote a bar that exists that for some reason isn't getting any business. Uh, to the point where their power has been cut off. In fact, I think they're about $24,000 in debt as far as, you know, owing the power company money. So, I decided to get up early this morning, keep on trucking, need to find work. That's the thing. I need to find a job. So, part of surviving here, my first goal completed was to find uh, a place to live. So I found, I got that. My neighbors aren't too happy with me. I'm not sure why. I don't play loud music. I really don't. I've only had one guest over. And, uh, but anyway, you know, that's, neighbors, I'm going to, I'm going to call it a cultural difference. Yeah, let's keep it like that. A cultural difference. Well, one thing I've found here, but I'm not trying to generalize it and say it's the entire island, but there is a lack of universal communication as far as like, when someone doesn't like something, they don't say it to your face. Like, I'm, you know, in New York, like, when we don't like something, we tell you. Why is your face? Yeah, we may scream it out the window, but we make sure you know it's whose window is coming out of. Here, they, I don't know, they tend to say things, or at least my neighbors, or at least the people I've met so far, will say things via chat to one another, through the walls, to each other, but not to your face. There's no face-to-face -face contact. I mean, I, I just think that's weird. That's really strange for me. You know, and I've lived in multiple neighborhoods all around the world. Communication. I don't care what language you speak. I don't care if you're from Timbuktu, or Swahili, or Zaipan, or wherever. You, there's a form of communication to say, no, yes, may, I don't know, maybe, something. So anyway, something I'm working on, I'm trying to get over because I love communication. I love it. Tell me yes, tell me no. Anyway, that's a, that's a tangent, sorry. Um, so I'm headed out and about to try to find work. Um, try to find food, something. So that's my next goal. The next goal is to find some type of income while I'm on the island. However long that may be, I need to generate income to stay on the island. So, I, uh, I'm not like one of those travelers where I have a significant amount of money to save. So, wherever I go, I work. Now that I'm here on the island, my goal is to find work. So, this, right now what you see behind me, this is the financial district of San Juan. A lot of the bigger banks are here. Banco Popular, which is a, uh, one, of the, one of their national banks. I think it actually reaches out of the island, but I'm not sure. UBS, 
which used to be a client of mine. They're here. Uh, see if you can see the building passing here right now. There. Where is it? There they are. Over there. That's UBS. Uh, there's some pharmaceutical companies down here also. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at right now coming up to let's see. What bank is this? Well, it's several. Ugh. Grant Thornton. Universal Life. That's here. This is all in San Juan. Also down in the financial district, you have this is a, there's a train stop right there. You can easily get out, walk around. This is uh, lots of restaurants to choose from, uh, cafes. Uh, I believe even I thought it was our Starbucks at one point. Uh, so it's called the Popular Center. So come down here if you get a chance. Um, there's some things to do. <laughs> you may get blind on the show. Of course, then you have, of course, you have your Burger King. Burger King is everywhere. In fact, you'll see Burger King here, in, in, at least in San Juan, more than you'll see uh, at McDonald's. <laughs> Whereas usually, like, you know, depending on what type of the world, most parts of the world, you see McDonald's, 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 Burger King. McDonald's, 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 Burger King. Here you see Burger King. One corner, a couple streets down, or over, you see another Burger King. Uh, yeah. I actually found a Wendy's. There's a couple Wendy's here. Rare. But I love me some Wendy's. Yes. I don't eat a lot of fast food, but when I do eat, I I try to eat correctly. That's good. Uh, okay, so here we have Santander. You know, Santander Bank. Uh, I haven't seen an HSBC. Uh, but yeah. So this is a financial district. Uh, you can tell because this is where, as most cities, as most financial districts, this is where you find the taller buildings and the kind of heavy in traffic, uh, more professional people walking around. Uh, so uh, I'm just now passing the Banco Popular building. Uh, bam, there. But well, that's, I mean, there's more to it behind it. You just can't see it. Um, and then, looks like there's a, a fine arts uh, a place here. Sorry, I'm a little choppy out of breath. This is, I've now been walking an hour and a half. So, I'm going to start at the bottom, down in San Jose. Uh, I'm going to go to the place to get some food. So here's the Fine Arts Cinema Cafe. Let's see, see it right behind me. So we'll check that out soon. Uh, a lot of stuff here. So, <laughs> whew, I'm tired. And I got up at like 5.30 this morning. Start this journey. You can see I'm sweating. Wave. Well, hey guys, so listen, I apologize. I know I promised you again. I know I promised you a video of the, the artificial reef process. Um, and that's not happening. It's uh, definitely not going to happen. So, with that being said, life does go on. And if you're going to survive... You have to continue, you have to get up, keep going. You fall down, get up. Don't stand there, don't sit there and pity yourself. Don't allow anyone else to pity you. Get up, keep going. That's the way I see it. And that's what I've been doing over the years. Um, unfortunately with me, I keep traveling from country to country to country. And I'm just exploring, you know, I wanna, see, I wanna meet new people, I wanna see new things. And I've been everywhere, India, Thailand, China, Africa, all kinds of countries in Africa. Um, and no matter what, you know, 
I, if I get knocked down, I do my hardest to get back up. Sometimes it takes a minute, <laughs> but I get back up. So now I'm back up. And I realized the guy blocked me, so whatever little source of income that I was having or going to have was just kind of like <laughs> wiped away. So I had an anger, anger spurt. I made some dinner, put on a movie, went to sleep, and I just realized part of my goal was to have a place of my own. I had that. So it's not a complete failure. You know, I don't see it as a complete failure. I see this as a just a hump, you know, and that I gotta get over. So I decided to get up early this morning and get back out there. So hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, we're out and about. Well, I'm out and about today. So be sure there's going to be more videos posted. I thank you guys for watching my channel. And please click on the link below. Subscribe, share, give a thumbs up. And talk to you later. Bye.